Hey, good morning, everybody. I am so excited. You know, I had one of those mornings. You ever have a morning where you get up and you think to yourself, man, I cannot wait to get started. I cannot wait to get going. That is doing, not deciding. We're doing. We're getting up and we are clicking. We are cooking with gas, ready to go. And the cool thing about getting up and having that feeling is you're actually doing. You're not sitting on the side waiting and deciding, oh, is it right? Is it wrong? Is it this? It, blah. That's nonsense, noise. You ever have a day where you get up and you think, man, just another average day. And then you have that feeling sink in where you're just feeling like everything's just average, average. Your house is average, your job, it's average, your income, it's average. And you're looking around and you've got this perspective, kind of like this cloud, walking around and everything is average. And then you get the bucket, what I call the burden bucket. We all got a burden bucket, right? We're all carrying that burden bucket. And so we start putting shit in the burden bucket. Oh, this person said that and I was offended. This person did that and I didn't like that and blah, 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 blah. And at the end of the day, what we end up with is we end up with a bucket just filled with crap that doesn't matter, that doesn't have anything but a bunch of dead weight that we're carrying around. And we're thinking, you know, this is why I, is everything is average. I just feel average. And life has become average. And we look around at everything through this lens. And what happens is slowly, drip by drip, drop by drop, slowly, we surrender that one part of our power. We give up our power. We give up that core, what I call the core strength. And we become comfortable with being average. And then that seeps into every aspect of our life. It, 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 it creeps into our financial life. And then pretty soon we look around and we think, well, I've just got an average financial life. I got a lot of bills. I don't make enough money, blah, blah, blah. What do I do? And we start carrying around the burden. We got the burden bucket. And every minute of every hour of every day, we're, we just keep putting more stuff in the burden bucket. Well, I did that. And we all do that on some level. And the thing that I think that was kind of cool back in the day, this is back in the 90s, I had hit that feeling and I kept looking around and every day I'd get up and I'd do my routine. At the end of the day, I just feel like stuck, like in concrete stuck. You ever have that feeling where you get up and you just like, man, I, I, I've got concrete for shoes. I can't move. That just sucks, right? That feeling sucks. So I'd get up and I'd go through my routine and I'd slip into this pattern and everything that I said, everything that I did, everything was looked at through this lens of being average. And it was what was happening is I was becoming the dead hamster on the wheel. Jeez, God. And then I found something and it hit me. And it was like one of those things that's like a stick in the head, right? You kind of get it. And that was my perspective. The thing that I was bitching about, the thing I was complaining about, carrying my burden bucket, putting another burden, oh, poor me, blah, 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 was my perspective. And I realized that I was stuck, but it wasn't that I was stuck. I was average and I was going nowhere. We're all average, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share something with you before we're done today with the podcast and it's just going to just shift your mind it's just going to be a paradigm shift so buckle up buttercup all right so i realized that yeah i was stuck and i realized that yeah things were kind of average like going nowhere fast like a dead hamster and then i had this bigger part of me and just like you i had this bigger part of me and I call it that core, that core strength inside. And I knew I had more. I just knew it. there was more I could do. And that's how I found out, and this is back in the late 90s, about this credentialing program to get a legal credential as a uh, credential paralegal. And so I signed up, and I mean to tell you, man, I went through this whole process. And like yesterday when we were talking about it, you grab the flag and you stake the claim, that was it. Dude, that was mine. 
I was getting that credential because I get up in the morning, going to my routine. I had a good business, but it was just like, man, it's just, I'm like this dead hamster going nowhere. And I, and I'd work harder and make more money and I'd have less money. And I'm thinking, how in the shit does that work? I'm working harder, making more money and I have less. And that's how I learned through this whole process. That's where I came to realize. And it was part of that core. You know what, if I tell my money where to go, I don't have to ask where the hell it went. And I'll get to that later. But I had that purpose now. I had taken the flag, I staked that claim like we were talking about yesterday, and that was mine. I was claiming it, that was mine. No surrender, I'm not giving up, I'm not gonna yield, I'm not doing anything until I am done. And like this morning, you get up and you're just like, man, I cannot wait to get started. I'm doing, I'm not deciding, I've already decided. That's mine, I've claimed it, it's mine. Your financial life works the same way. And so what I had realized back in the day that that has given me the ability to tap into that one thing, that core, that core strength inside of us. That's where that no surrender came from. And it was mine and hard stop, I was not giving up and I was going to do whatever it takes. I'm not doing my best because sometimes I get up and man, I'm going to tell you, my best is never going to be enough. You have those days where you get up and it's just like, shit, why did I even get up? Just stay in bed, right? So what I decided was I was going to go ahead and do this, di this gig, get my legal credential, get my paralegal. I was going to emphasize my focus, not on family law and divorce. That was, that sucked. And not in bankruptcy, that kind of sucked. I was going to do my emphasis in the area that I worked in, and that was tax. So my emphasis was in tax as a paralegal, credential paralegal. And so I'd go to school on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night, and half a day on Saturday while I ran a business. I had a great team, and everybody took care of what they did. But, man, i got to tell you, every day I got up and I was doing, every day I got up, I'd go down to the law library. Every day I'd do something because I knew I was closer. I was closer to the thing that I'd claimed. It was like finding that North Star that I told you about yesterday. Man, when you have that, there is nothing that's getting in your way. There is nothing that's gonna stop you. You're gonna go through it, over it, under it, around it, and if that doesn't work, you're gonna blow the shit right out of that stuff and get it out of your way. You made it yours, whatever that is. You've claimed it. That's the feeling I get up with, and that's the feeling we should all get up with. And I had realized that I was still average. I still had an average life. I wasn't any better than anybody. I wasn't any worse than anybody. I was just me, being me. I was a human being, being human. But what I realized in this whole process, and what was so bitching about this, what was so cool about this, was I had learned to raise my average. And man, like a stick in the head. I got it. You ever had that moment where you where, where you do something and you just, it just freaking clicks, right? It just clicks. You get it. It's like you're in this groove, right? Nothing you do goes wrong. Everything you touch turns to gold. I was in that moment and I'm telling you, that was just rocking my world. That's what it's like. And you know what that feeling's like. And when you get it, you get it. You don't need to have anybody tell you. You don't need me to tell you. You already got it. And the cool thing about doing is you're doing. You're not deciding. You already decided. That's the flag. You stake the claim. Because when your life gets to that point where you reach this, what they call a plateau, right? The plateau is I can't go any further, right? And then we get the burden bucket out and we start putting more burden and then we carry around all the burden. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's what I learned. E plus R equals O. It's a formula. It's a formula that I learned. Any event added to that event, your reaction is going to equal the outcome. If somebody says something and your reaction is to be offended, then the outcome is you're going to be left offended. Maybe they didn't intend to say that that way. Maybe your perspective, I don't know. I don't think people start out necessarily to offend people, but I think people have a, a challenge some days. And maybe some days 
maybe they need a little bit more of a filter. I know God knows I need a filter sometimes. Jeez, the shit that comes out of my mouth, and I'm thinking, I'm just saying shit, right? I'm, I don't care. But we get so hung up, and then we put this shit in our burden bucket, and then we spend more time carrying the burden bucket, and it's not that we're not making more money. It's not that we're making less money. It's not that we have more bills. You got bills? I got bills. We all got bills, right? Here's the thing. Be debt free, okay? Make that your claim. Stake that. No surrender. Don't give up. Don't tell people. You know what? Here's one thing that really pisses me off. When you hear somebody say that the that money is the root of evil or money can't buy happiness. Money can't buy happiness, all right? I'm not going to get too philosophical, but usually the people that are telling you that shit, that money can't buy happiness, are a bunch of pissed off people that are broke, right? They're pissed off and they're broke. That's why they're saying money can't buy happiness. I'm not saying that it can buy happiness, but here's what I do know. If you got more money, you got more choices. You can do more shit. You can do more things, right? So let's not get into this judgment about this, that, or the other. Let's figure out where we're at financially. Let's figure out where we want to be financially. And let's get up like I did today. I'm just, I'm telling you, I got up at quarter to five and I am ready to go. And I'm going to, well, I got to wait till nine o'clock. So I did my homework. I get in my market watch. I do, I get this whole little routine every morning, right? And that was something else that I learned. Man, when you have a routine and you're in that groove and shit's just clicking, it's like everything you touch turns to gold. I've also had the life where everything I touch turned to dog shit, and I don't like that. I mean, dog shit's good, I guess, but I don't want it. I want shit that turns to gold. And so I learned to figure out a different way to change my point of view. I'm just going to keep it real right now. I'm not going to give you two hours and $400 for a seminar. You can learn this in 15 minutes, seven minutes, eight minutes with a little short video and go do that. Time is money. So don't be wasting your money and your time on four hour seminars when I can show you in six minutes how to change your life by just sticking the claim. You know, that's doing something. All the other stuff is theoretical, and I guess it's good if you're getting the PhD. But you know what? We all got a degree. We all got a master's degree from the University of Hard Frickin' Knox, right? We get it. We understand paying bills. We understand feeding our family. We get that shit. What we want to know is how the hell to make this shit work so that we can have the life we desire. And I try to keep it simple. And I mean, I don't mean to oversimplify, but, you know, it's really true. Tell your money where to go, and you won't have to ask where it went. But how you do that, I'm going to tell you, you've got to have a North Star. You've got to have that flag, that claim that you stake. That's mine, financial freedom. It's not about making money. It's about being financially free. And the thing about that gives you so much more choice. And to be in a position every day where you can get up and you are just ready to rock. You're ready to just get in the day and start doing. That's what we all desire. We deserve that. We deserve to be rich. But we've got to do something that changes our point of view. And that's why we created Wealth by Design. I mean, it's not about making money. It's about keeping what you make and having a, a, the life that you desire. If you define that like I did back in the day, that credential, that legal credential, that was mine. The day I signed up, I'm telling you, hard stop, no surrender. I'm doing this. I did that two-year program in 13 months. Not that I'm Superman, but I was that committed. I am all in it to win it, and I'm not stopping until I get it. And things changed, right? This shift. And it wasn't so much that things changed. My point of view and my perspective evolved. And I started looking about all the shit that I was doing, looking at the stuff that I felt average. All right, well, let's just assume that we're all average. Here's my, here's my clue. What if we learn a hack or a technique that every day we had the core, the core strength of who we really are, and we could just up our game and up our average? You know, if you wanted to increase 
things 100%. You don't start off on Monday saying, I'm going to increase everything by 100%. Nobody's going to do that. And anybody that tells you that they did it is blowing smoke up your ass. They're lying to you. They're, they didn't do that. And look at their bank account. Look at their financial statement. I guarantee you that's puff and bluff. It's hard work. Yeah, it, it doesn't have to be. But it's if you take the position that I'm going to do 1% a day, and after 100 days you're there, now you got a new there that you can put in front of you. So it's all your perspective. It's all your point of view. Wealth by design is your edge. It gives you the tool to stake your claim, to help you find that North Star. I got your back. As long as you're a member of Wealth by Design, I'm here, right? So let's just do that. You need help? Ask for help. You need direction? I'll show you a direction. You need to figure out how a tool works? Make an appointment. I'll get on there with you. We'll figure it out. You stake the claim, and I'll help you fight the battle. That's what it's about, because at the end of the day, when you can connect, you can tap into that core. You can have that core strength that nothing's going to get in your way. Not, they knock you down, you keep getting up. You just keep getting up more than they knock you down. It ain't about that. It's about your claim, staking that claim, doing whatever it takes. Quit doing your best. Do whatever it takes, and be clear and no surrender. Don't give up. It's your right to be rich. It's your right to have the financial life you desire. And what we got to do is figure out how to make it work. Well, we can do that. You did the first most important thing and you became a member of the group. So now we're in it to win it. And we're going to do it. I will. I am the guy that will do whatever the fuck it takes to make it work. Okay. I'm going to be blunt. Because if you don't have that burning in your soul, you have no reason to get out of bed every morning. You can just be the dead hamster on the wheel. You got to connect every day. You got to make it matter every day. You got to make it a win every day. Quit carrying the burden bucket. Sometimes we just need to throw shit away. And people are going to say what they're going to say. It's none of my business what people's opinion is of me. I used to be the guy that worried about what people thought. I could give a shit. I really, it's not that I don't care. I'm just indifferent. That's their opinion. Ain't shaping my life. Ain't changing my bank account. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Get out of the way and get ready. Watch me. That's how I roll. And that's how you roll. You've had those moments in your life when you've done shit and it just clicked and everything that you touched turned to gold. Yeah, and you have days where everything turns to dog shit. I get it. But that's carrying the burden bucket. That's the universe telling you, hey, wake up and get back to your North Star. That's the one guiding you to your destiny. You have a purpose in life. I have a purpose in life. And my purpose is to do stuff not sit around deciding. I've already decided about being debt free. I've already decided to protect my family and my wife. I've already decided I'm going to do whatever it takes to have financial freedom. And it's not going to be measured just in the amount of money in the bank. It's going to be measured on the things that I can do, like sit here and right now share with you my story. My story was a shitty story. Your story is a shitty story. I get that. But that's not what's defining me. That's not what's defining you. What defines you is that core, that core strength. What you've got to do now is you've got to make sure to be here tomorrow and you've got to make sure to be here on Friday because I'm going to tie this together with the core strength. I'm going to tie this together with your destiny. I'm going to show you how we're going to go into next week and we are going to take step one on Monday, reconnecting. We are going to take step two on Tuesday, your core. We're going to take step three on Wednesday, your core strength. I'm going to show you how to tap into it, and nobody will ever, nobody, nobody will ever be able to take that away from you. On Thursday, we're going to bring it home, and I'm going to show you exactly how much power you already have. And don't let anybody give you any bullshit about, oh, you can't do that. That's a stupid idea. You know what? Bullshit. And on Friday, then I'm going to show you exactly how it works because you'll have all the steps now in place. 
And you got to get ready because when we get into March and I do that two-day summit, an hour on this day and an hour on that day, and we talk about that core strength summit, I'm going to put as many human beings being human in that that I possibly can. And we're going to share this with everybody that we know. Everybody is entitled to have their core strength. Everybody is entitled to see how to connect to that best part of their purpose and grab that flag and put that stake in the ground and claim that financial freedom is yours and find that North Star. That's how we roll. That's how we do this. This is you. This is your program. This is Wealth by Design for you. And I got your back. And so does my team. We will do whatever it takes to help. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that it works. All right. I want you to have an awesome day. I want you to get out and go do something. Make a freaking difference today and claim it. Take your flag. Stake your claim. Financial freedom is what it's about, and don't let anybody make you surrender to anything. We're going to do this one day at a time, and we're going to figure it out, and eventually we're going to get there. But right now, today, we got shit we got to start doing. We're done deciding. We're going to have financial freedom. That's what we've decided. Now, let's start doing that. This is James Harnsberger, Wealth by Design. <laughs>